Hey guys, Double Wide Six, and today I'm looking at a John Deere D140. And like most tractors I have, this one has a story behind it. I got a call from uh, my buddy, actually sent over a text. He said that his friend he's working with is getting rid of his tractor. So uh, what happened was it had a Briggs engine on it. And I've never actually seen this, but the oil spout was metal on the old engine and it was broken off. So I brought it home. I took an easy out and I, I threaded out, you know, the threaded part of the pipe there. And I put one of these on there because I happened to have one. I filled it with oil. I started it. it. sounded great. I thought, hey, this is fantastic. Had it running for about three, four minutes. And all of a sudden, it uh, broke a connecting rod and put a hole in the side of the block. And um, I'm thinking what happened was the guy had it and it was leaking oil out and he didn't notice it right away. He said it smoked a lot and he made it to his garage and then he wanted to buy a new tractor or something like that. So anyhow, I had this tractor and I didn't feel like uh, putting a new engine on it. The new engines are about 800 bucks and it's getting to be pretty late in the season. So uh, I... I got a used tractor that had a bad transmission for 100 bucks, and I pulled this uh, Kohler Command, it's a 16 horse, and I put that on there, and it went pretty well, it was a little bit of a pain, I had to cut some stuff down here to fit the muffler in, and then I covered it back up with some steel plate, um, and you know, since I wasn't going from a Briggs to a Briggs, I had to figure out the wiring and stuff, and I wired it up and uh, I had it working but the kill switches weren't working so um, I needed to tie in the black wire I wasn't sure what that was for but I got it all squared away here and because this thing has a fuel tank that's under the seat it needs a fuel pump so uh, this is mainly what I wanted to show you guys about this um, you can see I have a Briggs and Stratton fuel pump on there, and I took that off the Briggs twin that was on it. And we'll go over and look at the other side. So what I did is I drilled a hole the same size that was going into the valve cover on the Briggs and Stratton engine. Actually, there's one over right there. We can look at that one. And I took that tube and I put it in here. And there's kind of like an O-ring and then a space and another O-ring on this tube. So it is a good seal. Um, I wasn't sure how well that would work. And then I put a uh, union in here and I extended the vacuum line all the way over to the fuel pump. And it works great because it wasn't pumping fuel and now it is. So my options were to either put a gas tank up top and in here and make it gravity fed or um, you could buy like an electric fuel pump and pump the gas but that would probably be about 40 bucks so I figured I would give this a shot and uh, Kohler makes one that actually bolts on here I believe but uh, this was free and it, it's working fantastic and Actually, this engine's really strong. I was concerned about going with a single cylinder, but runs well, PTO works, and uh, the charging system's working. So I'm pretty happy with that. And, you know, it's not too bad of a tractor. Got about 250 in it and uh, a fair amount of time. But that's how you learn things. You know, they say uh, experience is hard to get but you get a lot of it if you don't know exactly what you're doing. <laughs> so I got it figured out. I learned a few things, but I'll start this up for you, and uh, you guys can see what it sounds like. And before I do that, I'll just bring you over here. This is the typical Briggs and Stratton setup. So this is your vacuum line, and that creates a pulse to suck fuel so uh, if your fuel tank is lower than the engine, you're going to need a fuel pump. Alright, so we'll fire this guy up and uh, 
Let's see what it sounds like. Okay guys, so uh, you can see how I set up the fuel pump on an engine that never had one before and worked out pretty well. So I figured I'd just share this with you. So hopefully you enjoy it. Let me know if uh, you're trying to do one of these for yourself and you'll have to let me know how it works out. Thanks for watching guys and take care.